I'm going to tell you a story about how this little 50 cent part just about derailed this week's show. I'll tell you what happened this time on K6 UDA Radio. All right, last week I was so excited about this new radio, I didn't do what I promised I would do. So this week, I promised you guys I was going to do the review of the uh, Alpha Loop, and I'm doing it. Last weekend, I, uh, went, I went down to Pacificon, which is kind of the West Coast Dayton, I guess you'd call it. It is huge, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna, I took the camera, and I'm, I brought you back a little bit of video from Pacificon. <laughs> Some of you guys <laughs> might recognize this man. Me? Me? Yeah. Yeah. He's just he's just some old guy I picked out of the crowd <laughs> to come here and talk to me. Old guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there someday. <laughs> Trust me, I'm already there. Yeah, yeah. I'm you sound like an old guy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cranky, huh? <laughs> anyway, guys, hey, this is Randy. K7AGE, he's got another channel on YouTube. We're down here in the Bay Area of California at, uh, at a thing called Pacific Con. This is bigger than Dayton. This is much better than Dayton, isn't <laughs> well, it's it? has got better bathrooms. <laughs> of course, we haven't seen the new place yet. So. And, and, the, and the roof doesn't leak. <laughs> so anyway, Randy, um, how the hell did you get... This, this is the guy, what was it, last year or two years ago? Okay. You gave a talk at Pacific... He gave a talk at Pacificon about making videos for ham radio. Right, making videos that don't suck. <laughs> and he's the guy that inspired me to do this. Cool. So, I, I don't know, why the hell did you do that? Because um, a lot of people ask me about the, you know, to do a talk about how to... Uh, shoot videos and actually there's a book called how to shoot videos that don't suck and uh, Even if you don't want to read the whole book There's like 12 pointers up in the front and they're about a page page and a half each one And that's uh, a lot of real good tips and if you kind of follow that it'll help improve your You know the quality of you know, of your videos and everything will you know look better and flow better and oh, yeah. so Yeah, nice very cool so anyway just wanted to bring Randy in real quick. Say hi. Um, how, you've been here. You were here yesterday. Yeah, I got in Thursday afternoon, so mm -hmm. I went to the antenna seminar all day yesterday, and that's that's always a real good event here at Pacificon. A lot of good information. Some of it's very, very theoretical, and others comical, but it's you know it's a good day, so yeah. it's well worth it. So, you know, hey, the point of this whole thing right here, guys, is if. If you're new to ham radio or you haven't been to a ham radio convention or a ham fest, a big ham fest in your area, and they're all over the country and all over the world, these things aren't, you know, just limited to Dayton or Pacificon or, or any of these things, they're everywhere. And it, it, it's go, just go to one and check this out. It is unbelievable. There's manufacturers, there's vendors all over the place. You will find stuff here that you don't find anywhere else. Right. What 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 are you wearing on your on your name badge? I mean, scrolling here. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> the thing's got a little USB port on there, and you program it off your computer. iPhone or something. Computer, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's Chinese software, so it's kind of a challenge to get yeah. it going and play with it. But that's see, so and you become bilingual too. <laughs> so how cool is that? That's cool. You that's learn cool. Chinese. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, Randy, um, you got anything for my audience? Um, just support Bob. Watch, you know, hit him with the, with the likes. You're, I know you're still trying to get your five thousand subscribers, so everybody push that button and enter to win the uh, K. Uh, the KX2, so yeah, yeah, it'll be cool. We're yeah. looking forward to you know the big grand giveaway. One I, of these I am too, yeah. I am too. And you know what, guys, speaking of that KX2, I'm not giving the thing away. No, the guys that build your radios over at Elecraft, mm. they're picking the winner. So 
Start thinking about what you want to do, your big adventure with a KX2. Start thinking about that, and then when it's time, when it hits 5,000, that's when you're going to submit them. 30 second video or 100 and 150 words or 130 words or less. 130 words or less uh, about your big adventure that you want to do with a KX2. So anyway, hey Randy, thanks for being on the yeah, show for a couple you. Yeah. minutes. Okay, good to see fun. you. All right, we'll see you thanks. around the show here. Okay. All right, so the instructions for the Alpha Loop, the new redesigned Alpha Loop, pretty minimal. But you know, you don't need a whole lot. The box is a pretty standard electrical box and uh, it's on the big side for a travel antenna, for a, a real super portable travel antenna. All the parts look like they could be sourced out of, uh, out of a DX engineering or uh, your local hardware store. So if you break something, you could probably fix it fairly quickly. Alpha has gone with a design that screws directly into the top of their um, uh, tripod and they make use of a standard selfie stick with a foam uh, handle and this one uh, is the same type you would use for your GoPro or whatever. They've adapted uh, threading that, uh, that screws onto the selfie stick and the um, tripod. And they use uh, a good quality LMR type uh, coax for the radiator and the main hoop. All right, so I'm back out in the backyard now. This is, the, this is what the Alpha Loop comes in. This is kind of a cool little satchel you could throw over your shoulder. It's got, uh, got a, a carrying case. It's got pockets for a lot of your other stuff. You get your choice with this guy between, uh, between this stock one here, this, or you can have, if you don't like uh, camouflage, you could, uh, you could choose this kind of a bag here. I really like the fact that this is a tiny little tripod. And for the kind of stuff that I do, where I'm traveling out of a suitcase and I've only got one or two suitcases that I can really use, this thing is outstanding. That's the best one I've seen. Field assembly of the Alpha Loop is a fairly straightforward process. The design of it kind of precludes you from using it as a handheld antenna, but you can uh, hang it from a tree. The tripod and the selfie stick both thread on very smoothly. No hitches. The machining is nice. The radiator and the main hoop are connected with uh, Velcro and I just leave it assembled. Simply screw the main hoop into the tuning unit and attach the, uh, attach the top of it with the uh, camera mount. A final adjustment of the pole and in just about three and a half minutes I had this one complete. So if you're a member of the federal label police uh, I guess you could come and get me because the K6 UDA uh, crime family is about to void the warranty once again because, hey, you guys are my friends and I'll do that for you. So after I do some incredibly fast screwdriver work, I'm going to pop the cover off this thing and let's look inside. Once I got this thing open, uh, looking inside here, pretty standard. Nuts and bolts in there are something that you could find at any hardware store so you can replace broken parts real easily. The uh, solder connections are clean. Doesn't look like anything's really missing. Now Alpha tells me that they have incorporated a 6 to 1 reduction in the uh, tune rate. And once again, it does take about three full turns of the knob to get the variable air capacitor to completely cycle around. 
The resistance at both ends of the tuning scale are so light and infinitesimal. You, I mean, you could really just pass over these things, keep turning the thing. I, it's not going to keep turning, but I'm wondering if it's going to strip out something uh, over time. Now, Steve over at Alpha Antennas assured me that that can happen because it is made to keep going around. When it came time to hook this up to the Sark 110, that's when things got a little interesting this morning. At first, the meter wouldn't move and I started pulling my hair out. I went through every piece of coax and every connector I had and finally I decided to test it against all my other antennas. So the first thing that I hooked it up to was the outside antenna. This is my hex beam. I know this thing works because I use it every day. And sure enough, the display confirmed it. It was a perfect match. So with that first test in mind, I break out the chameleon loop and hook it up with the same cables that I was using. And sure enough, it bounced right down. You can see how much sharper the magnetic loop is compared to the uh, hex beam. And if two other antenna tests weren't quite enough, I decided to put the Alex loop in the mix and it also fell right in there and worked perfectly with my test equipment. So having absolutely no clue what was wrong with this thing, I made a call to Alpha. And Steve over there, within a minute, had a real good idea of what was the matter. So it seems the T connectors that they got in the last batch were a little bit on the bad side. Well, a little tapping with the hammer here and I was back in business. But Steve assures me that he is sending me and 400 of the other customers brand new non press in T connectors to uh, make our antennas work. So with all that work being done, I hooked it back up and sure enough, it worked. And it dropped right down into a very acceptable SWR, plugged it in right there into the 20 meter section and I did everything at 14.200. Now, a look at the tuning knob and the capacitors in action will show you just how sensitive the tuning is on these magnetic loops. Very, very little means a very, very lot on the meter. The price configured to me is 323 bucks from Alpha. Hey, I'm holding the on-air tests until our big shootout, and then we're gonna find out if any of these things is way above the others. All right, guys, I do have to say, the customer service over at Alpha Antennas is outstanding. They answered the phone and they were Johnny on the spot within literally a minute of telling him what was going on with that antenna. He said, it was this part here, 50 cent press on or press in T connector. They wanted me to tell you guys that they are sending out new T connectors, a better design, new T connector to everybody who's bought one of these things. And I guess to the 400 and some odd guys that, that ordered it through Alpha, they knew who you are and you'll be getting, uh, you'll be getting a new T connector here in the mail. But if you bought one used, or you bought it at a ham fest and they don't know about you, if you call Alpha Antenna or send them an email, they're gonna send you a new T connector too. So you're not out in the out in the dark. Guys, that is customer service no matter how you look at it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, I have a link down below to a really cool cat video I think you would just absolutely adore. He's so cute and cuddly. So anyway guys, that's it. That's all I got this week. 
Come back next time. We're going to look at the alpha or the, we're going to look at the, uh, come back next week. I'm going to have another look at the Alex loop. And then we're shooting out the chameleon P, the alpha and the Alex loop. We're going to do it based on uh, cost, features, tunability, setup, all the stuff that regular guys like you and me are interested in. Oh yeah, we're going to do a back-to-back -back RBN test. We'll see if one of these things is getting out way better than the others, or if it's just all about price and size. So guys, I'm Bob. K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3. Remote system linked. Hey guys, I'm Joe, key G6 on our eye from Elecraft, and I'm here with uh, K6UDA Bob. You know that guy who's giving away that free KX2? Well, I want you guys to subscribe to his video and help him get to 5,000 subscribers so he can give you that radio.